Step into the vibrant streets of Glasgow and explore the captivating world of tourism like never before. In this video, I'll reveal the 12 most jaw-dropping tourist attractions that will make your heart skip a beat. Get ready to be amazed by the dramatic wonders. Glasgow, situated on the River Clyde, has undergone a remarkable transformation from an industrial city to Scotland's hub of culture. The city boasts an array of impressive museums, art galleries, concert venues, and festivals. Its Gaelic name translates to Lovely Green Place, which is fitting considering its abundance of 70 parks and open spaces. Music enthusiasts will be delighted in Glasgow as it is renowned as Scotland's music capital. The city offers various venues for all types of music lovers, such as the Theatre Royal and the Concert Hall. Notable cultural happenings encompass the Celtic Connections Music Festival, as well as the Gurak Highland Games, and it is also a bustling hub for sports. The town hosts two prominent professional football teams and a rugby club. Glasgow's connection with Charles Rennie McIntosh, the creator of the Glasgow School of Art and a prominent figure in the arts and crafts movement, is a key draw for tourists. His and his colleagues' creations can be found in buildings, museums, and even a cemetery. To discover more about these and other enjoyable activities in Glasgow, Scotland, consult our comprehensive guide to the city's top attractions regularly. Number 12. Glasgow Cathedral, also known as St. Mungo Cathedral, or the High Kirk of Glasgow, is the most important historical building in the city. Its 12th century architecture gives it a unique appearance that seems to have come from a massive mold, with clean lines and no unnecessary embellishments. The Blackadder Isle extends from the southern transept and gets its name from the first bishop of Glasgow. The most impressive part of the cathedral is its crypt, where St. Mungo's tomb is located. St. Mungo founded the bishopric and was buried here in A.D. 603. While visiting this cathedral is one of the top free attractions in Glasgow, donations are always appreciated and guided tours are available at no cost. Adjacent to Glasgow Cathedral lies the St. Mungo Museum of Religious Life and Art. This museum explores different world religions, their rituals, and how they address life's existential questions like death and afterlife beliefs. The exhibits include various artifacts such as Egyptian mummies, Hindu statues, and even a Zen Buddhist garden in its courtyard space. Number 11. George Square and the Merchant District, in the heart of Glasgow's historic Victorian city centre. You'll find George Square adorned with beautiful flowers. This square is home to 12 statues that pay tribute to famous individuals associated with the city, such as Robbie Burns, Walter Scott, and Queen Victoria. The eastern end of the square is dominated by the town hall and its towering 230-foot structure completed in 1890. Additionally, the Merchant's House serves as the headquarters for Britain's oldest Chamber of Commerce, which was established in 1605. Located south of George Square are a collection of warehouses from the mid-19th century that are now part of Glasgow's trendy Merchant City District. This area, along with the Italian Centre, offers an array of unique cafes, restaurants, and designer boutiques. During winter months especially, this district becomes even more enchanting, as it dazzles visitors with a spectacular display of Christmas lights while they enjoy their time sightseeing in Glasgow. Number 10. Glasgow Science Centre and Glasgow Tower The Glasgow Science Centre is a fantastic destination for families looking for sightseeing opportunities. It presents a wonderful chance to spend quality time together. Situated near the Riverside Museum in the waterfront area, this well-liked attraction is housed in an impressive building resembling the hull of a ship and made of titanium cladding. It offers countless interactive activities and exciting explorations, ensuring plenty of hands-on fun for everyone involved. The Science Center features various exhibits focusing on human health, technology, and general scientific principles. Additionally, there are interactive stations where children can engage in hands-on experiments to apply their newfound knowledge. Don't miss the Planetarium, IMAX Cinema, and Science Theater, which host regular lectures and talks. Glasgow Tower, the tallest building in Scotland, is located at this site. It stands at a height of 127 meters and provides breathtaking views of Glasgow and its surrounding scenery from its observation deck. What sets this spectacle apart 
is that the entire structure has the ability to rotate a complete 360 degrees. The design was specifically engineered to withstand strong winds, making it the tallest rotating tower in the world. Number 9. Glasgow Botanic Gardens and Kibble Palace The Glasgow Botanic Gardens have been a haven of natural beauty for the people of Glasgow's West End and its visitors for over two centuries. Established in 1817, the gardens were initially created as a greenhouse for students at the University of Glasgow. Kibble Palace, built in 1873, is a prominent attraction and one of Britain's largest glasshouses. Its impressive structure is made from wrought iron and glass, providing an enchanting setting for its collection of rare orchids, tree ferns from Australia and New Zealand, as well as plants from Africa, the Americas, and the Far East. The gardens also feature other glass houses that showcase various tropical plants which can be enjoyed throughout the year. In addition to these magnificent structures, there are outdoor gardens such as the World Rose Garden and Children's Garden with a playground. Moreover, a designated walking path has been designed specifically with families in mind, while another path called Heritage Trail leads to Kelvin Walkway. The Glasgow Botanic Gardens offers a delightful experience of having a formal tea at the tea room in the curator's house, which is highly favored by visitors. This seasonal attraction allows guests to relish their tea time amidst lush foliage and vibrant flowers. Additionally, there are year-round dining options available on-site and ample space provided on the grass for picnics. Bella Houston Park is another enchanting destination worth exploring. It gained popularity after hosting the 1938 Empire Exhibition, which attracted over 13 million visitors. The park continues to captivate guests with its stunning flower beds that burst with colors throughout the year. A major highlight here is the House for an Art Lover, constructed in 1996 based on Charles McIntosh's design. This picturesque structure frequently hosts art exhibitions and various events, while also serving as a venue for frequent music concerts held within the park. Greenbank Garden serves as yet another breathtaking location featuring multiple walled gardens adorned with tranquil pools and elegant fountains. Number 8. The National Piping Center and the Bagpipe Museum For individuals who have a keen interest in bagpipes and drumming, the National Piping Center serves as an invaluable hub. Whether you are a performer or simply a fan, this establishment offers lessons and courses to cater to your needs. In addition, they organize intensive bagpipe schools held at various locations across the globe. Moreover, the National Piping Center boasts an exceptional museum of piping where visitors can explore a collection of piping memorabilia that once belonged to Robbie Burns. Notably, among its prized possessions is the 17th-century Eon Dahl McKay Chanter, recognized as the oldest surviving relic of bagpipes in existence today. In addition to the facility's own hotel and restaurant, there is also a shop filled with a wide selection of piping supplies, music, and souvenirs that is accessible to the general public. Every August, Glasgow plays host to the World Pipe Band Championship, which is considered the largest festival of its kind in the world. This event takes place on Glasgow Green. Number 7. Gallery of Modern Art Glasgow is a haven for those who appreciate art. With attractions like the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and numerous other galleries, there's an abundance of artistic experiences to indulge in. A day or two won't be enough to fully explore all that this vibrant city has to offer, so plan on extending your stay if you want to immerse yourself in Glaswegian art. Taking the top spot on our list of other recommended art venues is the Exceptional Gallery of Modern Art, referred to locally as the GOMA. This architectural gem showcases a variety of exhibitions by both local and international artists, in addition to hosting workshops and lectures. Don't forget to check out the equestrian statue positioned outside the gallery. Chances are you'll find it adorned with a cone on its rider's head, a playful gesture that reflects Glasgow's sometimes irreverent attitude towards local authorities who have ceased attempting its removal. Make sure to include the Burl collection in your art itinerary when visiting Glasgow. Situated in Pollock Country Park, this gallery houses a remarkable collection that includes valuable medieval artworks, stained glass pieces, sculptures, and tapestries dating back more than 500 years. Number 6. Glasgow Central Station If you're not planning to catch a train, Glasgow Central Station is still worth a visit. This impressive Victorian station combines historical charm with modern conveniences 
and is Scotland's busiest rail station. Originally opened in 1879 as the city's second major station, it now houses various restaurants, cafes, and shops. One of the most remarkable architectural features of the station is Highlandman's Umbrella. This glass-walled bridge connects the main station to Argyle Street and earned its name because it was a popular meeting place for immigrants from northern Scotland who sought shelter under its cover. Additionally, within the station lies Voco Grand Central Glasgow Hotel with its beautiful Queen Anne-style facade. Visitors have the opportunity to book tours that explore hidden vaults and abandoned subterranean platforms within the premises of this historic structure. Number 5. The Lighthouse, Scotland's Centre for Design and Architecture, located at the Lighthouse, showcases a mix of permanent and changing art displays from contemporary artists and designers in Glasgow. One notable exhibit pays tribute to Charles Rennie Mackintosh, the architect behind the building that used to house the Herald newspaper. Visitors can also explore the remarkable Mackintosh Tower, a captivating stone structure that offers breathtaking views when climbed via its spiral staircase. For those with an appreciation for various artistic expressions like music, film, literature, and theater, a visit to the Center for Contemporary Arts is highly recommended. This vibrant venue hosts an array of exhibitions, workshops, performances, and festivals throughout the year to engage all art enthusiasts. Number 4. Pollock House and Pollock Country Park Situated just under four miles southwest of the center of Glasgow, Pollock House encompasses an impressive 355 acres. Constructed in 1752 by William Adam and his sons, this Edwardian mansion served as the residence of the Maxwell family. A significant portion of the expansive structure is now accessible to visitors who wish to explore its grand entrance hall and extensive servants' quarters. On display within are Sir William Sterling Maxwell's collection of Spanish paintings by renowned artists such as El Greco, Goya, Murillo, and Velázquez. Additionally, notable works by William Blake grace the walls. Both guided and self-guided tours are offered for those interested in delving deeper into this historical treasure. For more adventurous souls seeking a unique experience, the Escape the Past game offers a fully interactive exhibit that challenges players to solve puzzles and navigate their way back to present-day reality. The estate's grounds feature Pollock Country Park, where meticulously maintained gardens can be admired along with various trails that wind through scenic woodlands leading down to riverside paths. Fans of the popular TV show Outlander may even recognize these routes as they follow in the footsteps of beloved characters from their screens. An absolute highlight during any visit is indulging in a meal or snack at Edwardian Kitchen Cafe, an opportunity not to be missed for anyone looking for an authentic culinary experience amidst historic surroundings. Number 3. The University of Glasgow, established in 1451, the University of Glasgow holds the distinction of being Scotland's second oldest institution for higher education. Throughout its long history, the university has boasted a distinguished roster of educators, including renowned figures such as James Watt, Adam Smith, and Joseph Lister, often referred to as the father of antiseptic surgery. For further insight into their groundbreaking contributions and those made by other esteemed scientists associated with the university, visitors can explore a comprehensive exhibition at the Visitor Center located on University Avenue. William Hunter, a renowned doctor from Glasgow in the 18th century, had ties to the university. He left behind his extensive collection of anatomical specimens, coins, and art objects as a foundation for the Hunterian Museum. This museum now houses collections from various fields such as ethnography, zoology, geology, and archaeology. It also showcases numerous discoveries from Roman sites. Notably, the museum displays artwork created by esteemed artists like Rubens, Rembrandt, and Reynolds. The gallery contains the reconstructed main rooms from the Glasgow residence of architect Charles Rennie Mackintosh and his wife, Margaret MacDonald Mackintosh, who was also an artist. Number 2. A Walk Through the Necropolis Adjacent to Glasgow Cathedral lies the Necropolis, an expansive Victorian Gothic burial ground spanning 37 acres that has gained renown as a city of the deceased. 
Within its grounds, one can find not only stunning commemorative gravestones, a total of approximately 3,500, but also sculptures and structures crafted by talented artists from Glasgow, including Charles Rennie Mackintosh. This enchanting site features intricately carved Celtic crosses alongside sorrowful angels in an ambiance defined by tree-lined paths that offer glimpses of both the cathedral and cityscape. A range of informative guided walking tours are available and highly recommended for visitors seeking a deeper understanding of this remarkable location. Number 1. Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum, Saatchi Hall Street, a vibrant hub for entertainment and shopping, has been transformed into a pedestrian-friendly area. Stretching over 1.5 miles, it boasts an expansive selection of shops, making it the city's premier shopping destination. This bustling street culminates in Argyle Street, located in the trendy West End of the city. The West End is renowned for its charming cafes, upscale restaurants, luxurious hotels, and most notably, the impressive Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum, a must-visit attraction. Established in 1901, the museum boasts an impressive assortment of British and European paintings. Notable highlights include Van Gogh's depiction of Alexander Reed, a prominent art collector from Glasgow, as well as Salvador Dali's masterpiece, Christ of St. John of the Cross. The museum also showcases an exceptional range of galleries dedicated to the Glasgow School of Art. Here, visitors can explore fully furnished rooms adorned with pottery, metalwork, furniture, and various other artistic creations. Additionally, the museum houses a collection of Scottish archaeological discoveries that feature Bronze Age tools and jewelry originating from Arran, Kintyre, and Glenluce. The collection also features fascinating displays of weaponry and protective gear, including headgear, long-range weapons, and bladed weapons originating from the 1400s and 1500s. Additionally, there are intricate tapestries crafted in Flanders, exquisite jewelry made in Glasgow, as well as an assortment of silverware, glassware, and pottery from different historical eras.